WNJK News. The local news has been brought to you this morning by First Florida Bank, serving Osceola County since 1926. Every bank in Florida offers home equity loans, but none of them offers a rate that matches First Florida's. Convenient locations, downtown Kissimmee, Vine Street, and 13th Street, St. Cloud. WMJK, your hometown station, Kissimmee, in St. Cloud, 812, 75 degrees. It's Julian Lennon. Boy, he sounds so much like his daddy. It's almost spooky, isn't it? And uh, the first release, title cut from the album, Volat. Good morning. Bill Carson with you on a hump day. Kind of like a Friday for most of you. I know tomorrow's Turkey Day. And kick off a four-day weekend. Enjoy it. I bet you're walking out singing this morning. You don't know, usually on a Wednesday, do you? <laughs> Tuesday, December 9th is sponsor of Band Uniform Day over at St. Cloud High School. If you're interested in donating or sponsoring a band uniform, just contact the St. Cloud High Band Boosters uh, by the mail. Their address is Post Office Box 12. 1256 St. Cloud 32769 WMJK working with St. Cloud High for a better Osceola County back in just a minute with the biggest hit lately and maybe the biggest hit ever for Human Lake and I'm going to give you a chance to win two in the uh, November showcase right after this Excuse me, ma'am. I've been waiting in line for a half hour, and I have a question regarding my last bank statement. This window is closed. And only one qualifier per household. I'll take caller number two right now at 846-8666. That's caller number two, and not only will you qualify for that $1,000 shopping spree, but we'll uh, throw in a free meal and beverage of your choice from Happy Trails Restaurant at the Stagecoach Resort in West City Limits, Kissimmee. Happy Trails Restaurant, home of fine country cooking and homemade desserts. Caller number two now. Call me to qualify for that $1,000 shopping spree. Free at 846-8666. Good morning. Twelve twenty WMJK, your hometown station, Kissimmee, St. Cloud. That's David Gates and Brad with the Guitar Man. Eight twenty three, it's seventy five outside already. A little bit on the cloudy side, but uh, there's going to be a good bit of sunshine today too. And believe me, you'll know it when it hits eighty five this afternoon at least. <laughs> we got up once again to about eighty six unofficially yesterday. Matter of fact, certain areas were even talking upper eighties yesterday, and. It could happen again today. Forecast is for a high near 85. Southeast wind around 10 miles an hour. And a 30% chance for showers or possibly a thunderstorm. So make sure you're prepared for that uh, with your rain gear or umbrella, whatever you like to stay dry with. It's going to be the uh, exact same way tomorrow for Turkey Day with just a couple of degrees, maybe cooler instead of mid-80s. It's going to be more like uh, 80 to 82. And then on the weekend, cooling off with a cold front. But until that really comes down from North Florida, we really won't want to talk about it too much because we're not quite sure what it's going to be like. 75 right now at 824. Stand by. More music coming up with uh, Barbara Lewis right after this. If you want to hook the big fish, go where the pros meet to exchange stories at Hook Line. 1220 WNJK. BJ 105 at 854. You got the breakfast bunch. It's going to be warm again today. 30% chance of rain. High 85, now 77 degrees. In a minute, more secrets at the White House. Folks, this is a real deal. One of the world's largest banks, Mitsubishi Acceptance Corporation, is now in Orlando. Outsell Honda Civic and Toyota Tercel. And with 87 prices starting at only $49.95, Hyundai makes cars that make sense. 855 on BJ 105. That secret arms deal with Iran was so secret, apparently not even President Reagan knew what was going on, like $30 million from the weapons sale going to the rebels in Nicaragua. 
That disclosure has led to the resignation of National Security Advisor John Poindexter and the firing of his aide, Oliver North. President Reagan's foreign policy agenda is on the ropes on Capitol Hill following latest revelations about a secret White House Iran operation, especially problematic further congressional approval of aid to Nicaraguan Contra rebels, said Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Dave Durenberger. I'll bet you that, uh, that it's... Good. I, Reggie Jackson, who started his career there. The A say they may sign Jackson instead. Instead of Dave Kingman, both players are free agents. 858 on BJ 105 got the weather next. Tossed fresh to go fresh. McDonald's is tossing three new tastes. Tossed fresh to go fresh. New chicken salad, Oriental. Loaded with chicken. With turkey and ham. A crisp, fresh taste. Fresh to go fresh. Oh, it's a good time. Oh, the great taste. Nationwide Communications, WBJW, AM and FM, Orlando. Scuba Divers, don't miss the giant holiday sale this weekend only at Private Divers in Merritt Island. $100,000 in name brand first quality Private Divers on 520 Causeway across from Denny's in Merritt Island. See their ad in Friday's Florida Today newspaper. Sign up for a scuba course, just fifty nine ninety five at Private Divers this weekend. BJ 105, exclusive radar weather, partly cloudy, 30% chance of rain today. High 85, now 77 degrees at 859. Exercise is definitely better for you than a cigarette or a martini, but one researcher says even too much exercise can have the same result, addiction. People who start out as recreational exercisers can wind up pushing for more mileage, more strenuous workouts, or longer workouts. So says Connie Chan, a clinical psychologist. Just two days away from exercise, says Chan, can lead to guilt, depression, moodiness, or anxiety. Not in my household. No, we're into those eight-ounce curls. I'm, <laughs> I'm Alan Spector on BJ105, number one hit music station. He almost made it through this morning without cracking up once. That was <laughs> eight ounce curl. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. <laughs> BJ 105, the number one hit music Good station. morning, Orlando. BJ 105. Bill Cross and Debbie Rugburn Summers, the BJ 105 breakfast bunch here for you. Coming up next, a chance for you to win some gold and diamonds with our morning gold for gold. Solid gold goodie. That's next. Hang in there. BJ 105, the number one hit music station and... The Breakfast Bunch, we seem to be spending more time doing TV lately than radio. We did the PM Magazine thing with the Santa's Express promo, and now we're over at Cablevision uh, getting ready for the Sneak-A-Peak we uh, weekend. Well, the Sneak-A-Peak preview weekend is what I'm trying to say. television has picked up since you had your makeover. Have you noticed that? I noticed that, too, yeah, ever since they, they redid me. <laughs> I have had this done years ago. Did you get home in enough time to watch Moonlighting last night, Alan? I got home in time. To start the VCR, so you so got to watch it today or tomorrow. You got it on tape. Yes. Oh, good. I will bring back your Perry Mason tape in a, in a day or two. I started to watch it and I didn't get to the end of it yet. It's great. I love the fact they use the the, the original theme and everything. Yeah, well, I guess fantastic. I'll have to come to your house and watch it because I watched the Peanuts Thanksgiving. Yeah. Episode. Okay. Did you did you get a tape of the one where they did the modern dance thing on Moonlighting the week before? Last week. Yeah. I was going to offer to trade you because I got, got that, that one on tape. I saw that. Okay, but you haven't seen the one I, last night. No. It was a dream sequence type thing with Taming of the Shrew. I hear it was real funny. Yeah, a kid uh, who wants to watch Moonlighting is forced instead to study Shakespeare, The Taming of the Shrew. And, of course, he imagines the play as if David Addison and Maddie Hayes were playing the lead role. Okay, well, I'll tell the report on that tomorrow if you get a chance to watch it. And then, I, you know, I'd like to borrow the tape from you. Well, all right. Okay, thank it's you. Come over and do a few eight-ounce Mr. curls and yeah. watch <laughs> Watch the Will you stop with the eight ounce curls. <laughs> We're fired up here for the gold for gold competition. Twenty five dollar gift certificate to Golden Diamond Stars. Boy, this is the time of year for that. Boy, howdy! I'm not telling you. You want to see a madhouse? You come with me to the Golden Diamond Stars on the twenty fourth of uh, December. I'd like to see some of that mm -hmm. under my Christmas tree. Yeah, well, you can win it here by identifying this morning's solid gold goodie. We play it backwards one time. Here it comes. <laughs> Sounds like the Queen from Voltron, but I don't think that's it. If you know what that song is, forwards, call us at 424-HITS or 1-800-26-BJ-105.
When you're in New York, the party is at the Palladium. When you're in Miami, the party is at the Parallel Bar. But when you're in Melbourne, there is only one party. And that's at the Encore Lounge in the Melbourne Beach Hilton. Goodman, in the business section of the White Pages. At Jacobs and Goodman, they care about you. DJ 105 Solid Gold Goody Hotline. Um, I think I have an answer. What do you think the Solid Gold Goody this morning is? Was it Private Dancer? By Tina Turner. Private Dancer is correct. Yes. Yes, either yesterday or today was Tina Turner's birthday. We, we've got two different sources on it. One list yesterday, one list today. So this week is definitely her birthday week. Oh. Tell you what we got for you. You get the present, though. You got yourself a $25 gift certificate at the Golden Diamond Source, Leroy Chopping Center. Hey. What's your name? Holly. Holly, where are you calling from? Titusville. And in Titusville, what radio station is good as gold? DJ 105. BJ 105, the number one hit music station. Arbitron Red at number one in the mornings. BJ 105 and the Breakfast Bunch. Bill, Debbie, and Ellen here. Winding down kind of on a hump day. Boy, I've never seen us dragging so much here. Usually one of us may be tired, but the other two are really Ooh. enthused. But we went on this all-day shoot Ugh. for Orange Seminole Cable Vision. Yeah, so the Cable Vision is Central Florida, I guess the real correct name of the company now. now. You know, and, uh, yeah. ooh, tired. Got to meet our boyhood idols, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And for me, it was the fulfillment of a 30-year dream because when we got all done yesterday, Mickey and Minnie actually made us honorary Mouseketeers. Ooh. You guys didn't give them, did you? <laughs> no, I've got, I've got my ears. Did you take your ears home with you? Oh, absolutely. You, what are you kidding? How many times in your life are you going to be made an honorary musketeer? Uh, you know. I can't think of any I'm looking others. into getting them bronzed already. How about you, Alan? What would you do with your ears? I left my ears <laughs> down in the news car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 9.25 is the time. Hi there, BJ105. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? <laughs> Pretty good. Um... I don't remember where it was, but I, I think it was TV or something, but I heard that Tina Turner's birthday was today. Well, yeah, we, what we've got is, uh, we, I checked, I, I use a number Spit of different out, almanacs. Well, I use a number of different almanacs, and three of them reported her birthday as being yesterday, and two of them reported it as being today. So apparently there's some dispute on that. I've already, you know, we've come across, I think, about six different birthdays for Paul Simon. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I think sometimes these people get a little coy about what year they were born, too, and so they start getting fuzzy about the date. You know, probably none of them are right. Yeah. Well, anyway, so I, I'm, I think that we're fairly certain it was this week. Now, whether it was it yesterday or today. It was within 48 hours, we think. You know. Yeah, that's me. You know, um, I go up to school in St. Augustine, except I'm kind of skipping school today. But, you know, I listen to you guys all the time in the morning. Like, Well, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Orlando. Oh, and you go all the way to St. Augustine for school? Well, <laughs> kind of, yeah. Wow. You're kidding. No, I don't make that trip every day. Oh, okay, yeah. It's a pretty city. I was up there on vacation a while back. I love St. Augustine. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too long to make that trip every day. It's two hours each way. Yeah, so you're playing hooky today, too, huh? I have been all week. <laughs> oh, geez, take a little early Christmas <laughs> vacation here. <laughs> but well, I, listen. I, I, Christmas shopping done, so. Let me ask you, when you're... When you're skipping school and Christmas shopping, what radio station are you listening to? DJ 105, the number one hit music station. Ho, ho, ho. Tis the season to be jolly. And at the Walt Disney World Resort, there's plenty to be jolly about. Right now, we've got seasonal positions open in both Epcot Center and the Magic Kingdom. As a Disney seasonal cast member, you'll be part of all the holiday excitement in the Walt Disney World Resort. From the Magic Kingdom's Main Street, USA, all decked out in its Christmas finery, to the special holiday fun in Disney's fabulous Epcot Center. To apply, stop by the Walt Disney World Employment Center, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. till 5 p.m., or Saturday, 9 till 4 Take Interstate 4 to the Lake Buena Vista 535 exit. Go north eight miles, then follow the signs to the Disney Employment Center. Put a little extra jingle in your pocket for the special folks in your Christmas list. Come share the merriest Christmas ever as a seasonal cast member in the Walt Disney World Resort. 
Walt Disney World Company is an equal opportunity employer. Four. BJ 105 exclusive radar weather for a hump day. Partly cloudy, which you can tell if you're outside or near a window or anything. 30% chance of getting wet later on. High today will reach 85. Currently 79 at BJ 105.